maybe he's coming around and doing all that wacky stuff with the phone and the computer. Quite possible. Oh, and rolling? Yeah, just That's by... That's awesome, because listen, people... Just by honoring the king alone... Maybe that did it. I'm telling you right now... It's very possible that that could have... Listen, people, we've got some activity. I mean, we always have that, but it really went away. And now... <laughs> I mean, we've got phones with batteries that are completely out that are going off. Yeah. We've got guitars playing like I can see the strings being pulled and plucked. It's weird. Bizarro. They're kind of cool. They're nice. Not too bad. They probably like the porch. The vibe here is pretty badass. I think so. Yeah. Welcome to Porch Talk with Chris and Laura. I'm Chris. That's Laura. Oh! Welcome. Mm -hmm. We haven't had an episode in a while. Mm -mm. We've had two interviews since. Yep. Things are getting filled up. Yep. Man, this season is going on. It Damn. is. I, it is. It's just we've got a lot of interviews this season. Well, and we used to do it differently, you know? We had more time and we did three or four episodes a week. Yeah. But it's it's good. I mean, we're, good. we're interviewing a lot of really cool people. And we take it. <clears throat> we do. It's fun. Yeah, and we want to appreciate everybody that so far has been on the porch. Yeah, we love it, you guys. Know, we, everybody. Your your support <coughs> from, from not only people that have been on the porch, but our fans as well. Yeah. We want to say thank you. Big thank you. And we do want to remind people that we're sponsored by the Drum Shop of Tulsa. Mm -hmm. Hi, Roger. London Square, South Lewis, and Tulsa. Mm -hmm. Go see Roger and see Eda hook you up. Mm -hmm. Even if you're not a drummer. Yeah. Doesn't matter. No. And we're also sponsored by Tita Printing from Coweta, Russ Andrews, and Hi, Mike. Mike Calico. 918 279 1018. There you go. Give them a call for all your needs as far as printing goes. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, they make some of the softest. Mm. I love these shirts, they're wonderful. Well, the term that we've derived is nipple soft. Yeah. If it and that's not sexual, that just that's okay. fact. Uh, okay. Well, right. it's physical. Uh, okay. I mean, Okay. For a lot of females and for some of us males, shirts can't be too rough, dude. Do you remember the old, like, hard knit polos back in the 80s before they got real soft? You know what I mean? They got the real soft polos and then they got, yeah. like, that hard knit <laughs> okay. crotchet and stuff. Okay, okay. Oh my God. No, I go home bleeding, <laughs> like, chafed and stuff. <laughs> I was big. I had man titties. It was okay, horrible. All right. Well, now that everybody knows, let's get it. Well, now everybody knows. Everybody. I used to be fat. Real fat. <laughs> I'm fat now, but man, You're I used to be big. Fat. No, for real. I, so I was I. I weighed up. I was like, a tubby look. I think my top was 365. I'm not going to say my top, but it was, it was a little. I've lost some weight. I'm six foot. 365 is horrible. Yeah. Now I'm a comfortable, what, 230? Something like that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> a little beer bell out there. Right? Anyway. That, that's just extra butter. So. <laughs> this, <laughs> thank you, baby. <laughs> so what happened this morning? Da, 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 da. Kick tree? Yay! On channel 8? Went for us. I know, right? That was awesome. They did the Good Day Toss. They did. They did. And they mentioned the Grind Show that's coming up this weekend. Yeah. This weekend, August 5th, at the Shrine. I know I'll be there. Either You'll bring, be there. Either bring five bucks mm -hmm. or bring five dollars worth of school supplies. Or more if you want. Or more. I mean, kids need school supplies. Absolutely. They really do. And this is a real blatant, clear-cut enter. There is no BS about it. It is not overpriced. And you are seeing some of the... Some of our favorite biggest, bands. biggest bands in this region. Yeah, and a wide mix of people. It's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. And then on top of that, Saturday also they got the Bands Against Suicide. That's event right. At the Vanguard. Yep. Hosted by Alter Blood and got machine them out and let's trade down all those. Don't do it, Kitty. And they have like close. big names there too as well, which yeah. is crazy. Crazy. And so we got two I big bet you anything, I, on, I know what's going to happen. South, downtown, People yeah. are going to swap around. Oh, they're they're, they're going to go absolutely. back and forth to the different places because there's too much good music going on. Yep. I 
mean, it's going to be great. Yep. <clears throat> it is. It's going to be awesome. It is. Well, I uh, saw that the Normandies are going to open with Local H for the Toadies at right. the Diamond Ballroom in Oklahoma City on the 7th of September. You know, we got to go and, up there. And we just want to say congratulations. That is so wonderful, guys. That's awesome. Awesome. Yeah. I love those crazy guys. Yeah. I, I wish we could have been at the show. I know. But Diamond Dave took some killer photographs. And, you know, the Normandies, were, they were all sporting the cowboy hats and everything. Oh, yeah. it, was, it was awesome. So cool. It was totally awesome. So, anyway, congratulations, guys. Mm hmm I just wanted to give you some love. Mm hmm So... The alternative press, mm -hmm. and I was talking about this yesterday, mentioned that Fossil Youth here from Tulsa are one of, or they're one of 18 bands that they feel are leading the emo revival in music today. Yeah, we so, had a little discussion about that term emo last night. We don't need to yeah. get into all that, but. It, it sparked a nice conversation. I really well, enjoyed talking about that with you guys because it was interesting it what y'all thought. It did. Yeah. <clears throat> and, you know, a lot of the bands that were on that list are not bands that are my, you know, my Chemical Romance knockoffs. Right. And stuff like that. Um, him. Yeah. And the Use. Right. Yeah, sure, they may have influence from those bands. Mm -hmm. But I think with the emo revival, it's, it's, more the, it's more of the blend of what's out there today <clears throat> plus what came from the yeah. emo period, the results of it. Right. And the results of it were a great many number of bands that it just got a great indie sound. Really cute. You know, they're all over the map. Crazy. And they're good, and you just like them. Well, Doesn't matter if they're poppy exactly. or jazzy I think that's or one of those genres where you map. have some really good ones in there. And, but the whole lot of them got a bad name because of that term and because of whatever. Now, I, I don't like when that happens. I mean, if you got to name a genre, okay, name it. But that's what, we be too picky about what they are, mm -hmm. what they mean, all that. I used to think the same thing about The Cure being forced into the goth category. Right. When, in fact, they were surely originally punk. Yeah. You know, when they started out, I mean, if you're, you know. Mm -hmm fan from back before the disintegration. <clears throat> right. But after <clears throat> after disintegration it was all well they were thrown into goth rock. Yeah. But and, and yes, Robert Smith played with Susie and the Banshees for a little mm -hmm. bit too. And they toured together for a little bit. Goth rock? That's what There's a lot of other goth rock out there that is not That doesn't Because even wow. some of the songs I would the never cure even songs think are about that. And describing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. That, that's what they're labeled as a lot. That's so wild. Look at it. It's cool. it, it, just, it doesn't fit. You love them. I do. You know what? That would be a bucket list to, to interview Robert Smith for both of us, well, especially you. But It was a bucket list for me to see them. Yeah. So that's all that matters. Well, I never have. I know. Well, now we're going to have the third installment of uh, Real Talk with Clinton. I know. What's crazy? Huh? He's got something to say. He's got a point. He does. So let's get it done. And here we go. Rage, curiosity, anarchy. I wonder if Martha Stewart ever made a recipe from that. Hashtag pick up a guitar and put down the ladle. Real talk. Moms? Thanks, Glenn. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> I always get tickled after that. I don't know why. It's always funny. It is funny. Sunday. Stinky Gringos. Video shoot. Fort Gibson Lake at Taylor's Ferry Marina. Free for all. And a free for all. 10 a.m. on Sunday. Yep. Seriously, everybody's invited. It's going to be crazy. Bring your clothes, bring toys, bring ever what you think would add to the ambience of their video shoot. Everybody's going to be, everybody's going to be in it. It's going For to be the fun. love of all that is holy, someone make sure that Mitchell is there on time. <laughs> I love you, Mitchell. I had to. Stop. I had to. You can't do that. <laughs> I know. He knows I love it. Okay, I'll take back. All right. All right. 
<laughs> now the night before, with all the other events that are going on, had enough for the wolf and Stinky Ringos are also playing the first shot. Right. So if you can't make yeah. it to the video shoot, one of the benefits on Saturday. Oh, on Saturday, you yeah. can still make it to that. Yeah, oh yeah. That's three big events going down I mean, in one line right no, there. And get it done. Right in downtown, man. It's gonna it's be a lot to do. It's gonna be a great so weekend. fun. Yeah. It's gonna be a good weekend. Mm -hmm. So you can either go see one of those shows, including well, the Gringos, and then go out with the video shoot on Sunday, I mean, which is gonna be nice. It's gonna be hard for us because we got a bandmate and a son playing at one place and we've got back to school benefit at the other that we've already committed to going to so it's going to be tricky getting it all around but whatever we'll get it done yeah it's, mm -hmm. it's true yeah now i do want to discuss one thing oh boy here we go well i'm going through my little timeline okay and i see a reminder of an article from 2012 or it was an update on an article from 2012 that was about that kid that shot 12 people in Colorado mm -hmm. in the movie theater when he was watching, watching Batman, Batman The Dark Knight right. in 2012, right? Mm -hmm. And at the time, the whole story was maybe it was his antidepressants, maybe it was this, maybe it was that, maybe it was the context of the movie and this and that. And the other. Okay. But you know how we're, we live in such a virtual world Mm -hmm. that you're not really reading, you're just scrolling through the pictures. Right. And I scroll down to like the second picture down in this article, which <laughs> the first picture was him in the interview room with a cop in color. The next picture down is like green and black, mm -hmm. kind of fuzzy, and he's got his hands up. Mm. And the caption below it is talking about how they, they put paper bags on his hands because if they were basically preserving evidence. Right. Right. And the cops left the room for a little bit, and oh, dude is sitting there talking to the pup. Mm -hmm. there, he's making puppets out of the paper bags, and they're talking to each other. Okay, I just, I want to, for the record, say this. All right. When the hell can the general public feel comfortable enough to call someone fucking crazy? Oh, All right now, come on. For real. We I always know. blame everybody else. We I always know. blame everything else. It's the drugs, the way he was raised, the I this, know. the that. Some people are just flipping nuts, man. That's true. They're just, just like, crazy. Just like some people are just bad. Crazy people will never admit they're crazy. No. And they will continue going on saying, I'm not crazy. But guess what they are? They're batshit crazy. Well. Like. I know. Puppet talking with paper bags. I know. I know. People do not stop. Crazy is as crazy does. You damn right. Uh, it is. If you think that you're crazy, guess what? You're not. Because crazy people don't know the crazy. Mm -hmm. But if you're watching this and you're like, I'm not crazy, guess what? Check again, pal. Oh my lord. We're going to get a bunch of hate mail over that. <laughs> Come on. Oh, well. Won't be the first time. <laughs> and for some more hate mail, oh my God. congratulations to Down in Front Photography saying they're not going to take any more free concert photos. Because Black Jelly Bean and Peeps never got any. Now listen, you already said something to him on social media. That's enough. You don't need to make him feel bad. I already told him that mission on Porn Shock. That's what I said to him on social media. Oh, yeah, I know. Okay. All right. I love Roger. Hi, hey, Roger. My other Roger. Big thanks to Roger and Mike. We Roger, are sponsors. Um, we are uh, TulsaMusic.com. They're crazy guys. So, we love them. And they've had some articles come out recently. Good so job, please, guys. Yeah. I'm serious. So please go visit. Mm -hmm. We are TulsaMusic.com. That's right. Yeah, and... and us and many other people and even bands mm -hmm. are our sponsors of that website and we appreciate what they do absolutely yeah, yeah. so after this we'll probably have some free black jelly bean and peeps photos come out everybody else got them all right now. did you not see the timeline 
Oh, I, I've seen it. <laughs> Don't pay attention, but <laughs> he's in a mood today. He's been kind of sassy, real sassy, actually. It's just been bad. It has. I just don't even know what's going to be. No. Well, let's get on to the goings on around the tallest pounds. So, no, I'm not saying. No. I can't do it. All right. I don't even know my name today. What's <laughs> that? <laughs> Tonight we have the Utopia Jam, hosted by Jeff Hale and Michael the Onion Man Hanson. Woo! 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 Yay! Yeah, there he is. There he is. We got him going on at about eight thirty, I believe. Yep. To move to move the time up and out. Yep. So no matter what, get out there, jam. That's right. It's a and good one. It is a good one because it's fusion funk. It's something awesome. different. It's not a bunch of covers. It's not a bunch of weird stuff. But yeah. if you do have something you want to bring to the table, come on out. Bring it on. Yep. Mm -hmm. They're going to be out there for a while. Yeah. Might as well. Uh, we also have um, the WTF. That's at, right. At Wild Hogs tonight. Yep. So if you, uh, you know, that's 31st in Sheridan, then the Utopia Jam is at 35th in Sheridan. Yeah. So right down the road. They're not that far apart, uh -huh. you know. Mm -hmm. So do what you got to do. Get it done. Both free entrance, both, you know, mm -hmm. one of them you can bring your guitar to, one of them you yeah. bring your money and buy a beer to. Heck yeah. yeah. Or give them a tip. That's right. Thursday, uh, there is the open jam at uh, the Coyote Club. Right. Yeah. So we want to give a big shout out to them mm -hmm. uh, for their open jam and what they continue to do. And there's karaoke at the Double R. Nice. Tomorrow night. Excellent. Uh, Friday, we've got the Brothers Moore are oh, going to yeah. be the Hunt Club. But Friday, we also have. I love the Hunt Club. I, man, I love it. I love it in there. I think you're right. Good food, too. Yes. We love it. It's not bad. It's, mm -hmm. it's wonderful. Yeah. And the location and that. It's just neat. Yeah, it's cool. I'd yeah. like to work there. I'd like to work there, too. But uh, on Friday, it started at 9. Um, the benefit were for Robert Justin Hines. Uh, he was killed in a motorcycle wreck. Right. And so, so Courtney Beaumont at Ed's Hurricane Lounge is putting together a benefit. Right. Um, so bring, you know, uh, girls' toys. Right. Or girls' clothing. Uh, little girls at his wife Jennifer mm -hmm. um, was uh, was left behind mm -hmm. in this in this tragic accident with this a awful. with a very young daughter. Uh, or, you know, whatever form of donation, if you have questions about it, contact Courtney at Ed's Hurricane Lounge. All right, that so, sounds good. Yeah, really good. Mm -hmm. And we also want to give a mention that Friday and Saturday is right. Cray Fest 2017, hosted by Chris Crave of Crave Radio. So they got. And what What's special about him now? Well, what is it now? Chris gave me my first chance on internet radio, the first commercial success that uh, in a band that I'd ever been in was played on Cray Radio. So, big shout out to Chris. Good luck on Cray Fest. They've got they're going to be at the uh, at the Curtain Club in Dallas, right. and they got let's see what is it? The Violent Hour. They got Dark Avenue, a Soviet Dogfight. We got a bunch of other people wow. it's going to be it's going to be a pretty good gig all right at least i think it's at day one so it's the fourth through the fifth and then i think they have another one upcoming so congratulations to chris we hope that everything goes great yes congratulations. Kind of excited for you. Mm -hmm. um the uh they're going to be uh, auctioning off guitars to benefit cancer i think that's wonderful so you know how i feel about that it's a good benefit very good and then, of course, Saturday, mm -hmm. you know, we've got the three events that we've already discussed. Right. And, but we've also got Crow is going to be mm -hmm. at Brownies on Lake Keystone. All right. So, then. congratulations, yeah. boys. What do you think, Sonny? He likes yeah. anything you, you want to see, Phil? You didn't jump up here for nothing else. Mm -hmm. All right, then. Okay. And then, uh, Sunday, of course, the Stinky Gringos video shoot. I know. But the 29th Street Band. With Steve Maggard mm -hmm. is also going to be um, shooting their video at Kicks Tavern. All right. So from seven to nine. 
So that's going to be pretty cool. Excellent. Good luck to them. And uh, there's a lot of stuff going on. Well. So we got a full weekend, and, especially Saturday. Yeah, but, you know, we've got an interview on Sunday. With yes, we do. Matt Mason and Hurricane Mason. And I'm really yep. excited about this. These guys have been around a long time. Yes, they have. A long time. And, you know, I'm, it's going to be it's gonna be cool. We're actually having, like, palpitations about this interview. Yeah. I mean, not many interviews do we ever get, and the people that have been over for interviews are like, eh, Chris and Laura are cool. They just go over to their house and hang out and drink beer and talk on camera for a minute, and the animals jump all over the Everywhere. place. Everywhere, or, you know, poop. <laughs> But, so many but this one for us in particular is, is pretty, uh, yeah, we're excited about it. We are. So, we're we, excited we about appreciate it. Matt and the crew for coming. I, I'm really excited about it. They're bringing the tripod. I know, right? I'm excited it's about so it. So wonderful. Thanks, guys. Yeah, for real. We can get away from the table or the chair oh. that the cat's always going to jump on. I know, right? Yeah. It's so funny. All right. All right. Well, everybody have a good weekend. Be safe. If you have any uh, questions, give us a message or visit Kurt's list mm -hmm. and, you know, find out what's yeah. going on. Also, check the events on your Facebook, but Kurt's list has everything listed yeah. all the time. Well, so, I mean, I go there to look for something that goes on. Yeah. I really do. Before we sign up, I, I want to say, uh, I know you're not watching, but happy birthday, my bratty, wonderful daughter who just turned 28. I love you, sugar bear. And happy sister. upcoming birthday to Laura and to Clinton. Oh boy. It's a big one, people. Yeah. I'm excited. All right. We have a special announcement regarding that coming up very soon. Mm -hmm. Watch for the event on Facebook. It's going to be shared. That's right. All right. Have a good weekend, guys. Take care.